the Riveter coming at you. This beautifully gorgeous morning. There was so many words going through my mind. I didn't know which um, adjectives I was going to use to describe this morning. <laughs> um, it's cooler. The sun is out. It's great. You can feel the wind through my mesh jacket. <laughs> it's amazing. It's a great morning to be out. Um, all right, look, I mean, there's like a billion people on the trail this morning. Nobody on the road, which is great for me. <laughs> all right, so um, today I wanted to talk about a really simple topic, um, how to obtain your motorcycle M endorsement in the great state of Texas. Goodness, I really, really need to be working on my downshifting. <laughs> Any tips, drop them in the comment section. All right, so basically, um, basically, uh, it's really simple to get your Class M motorcycle license. If I, am, I mean, looking it up myself, um, I thought it was gonna be this big old long process. It's not, and if you look at other countries, outside of the US they literally have to go through so many hoops and obstacles so all you um, viewers that are not residing or located in the US of A I really commend you for your consistency and um, dedication to getting your motorcycle license I mean it's crazy it's crazy so uh, for my state I'm very lucky I live in the Lone Star State and uh, it's really simple. You literally have to take a class that with the, oh, I don't know what kind of furry creature that was. <laughs> you have to take a class that is um, recognized by your local DMV or whatever. Um, oh my gosh. <coughs> Sorry, I don't have the Rona. Um, you have to take the class and you literally, once you complete that course, you take your little completed certificate to the DMV um, I hope you look pretty that day because all they're going to do is ask for that little piece of paper. They are going to take your picture and you're going to get your license in three to five business days. Or, I'm sorry, three to seven, three to 14. I don't know. It's fairly quickly for my state. It's really, really simple, guys. So for me, what I did, um, I went online. I looked at all the safety courses and all the MSF, uh, so Motorcycle Safety Foundation, um, courses that were available in my area. Like I've said many times before, if you watch my other videos, uh, Harley Davidson seemed like the best option. Yes, it was more expensive than the other ones, but I have my reasoning as to why I went with Harley Davidson. I have a video on that also. Um, check it out if you want to know more information. I stuck it with Harley. What Harley basically did is they sent, I, you know, go up, schedule myself for, I went for the weekend classes. Uh, they sent me an email. It had an attachment, so I had to go beforehand online and complete a online um, little like safety regulation thing. It's basically watching videos, answering questions. To be very 100% honest with you, <laughs> the uh, questions are a lot of common sense. And then there's like some acronyms that you're going to want to know for your motorcycle. So uh, don't skimp on that. I mean, the common sense questions, you really don't have to watch the videos. You can have the videos playing, pay attention when you think you need to. Um, but don't think that they're not going to quiz you because day one of the Harley Davidson Riding Academy, you're literally going into the classroom and they're reviewing everything that you learn. So you do not want to be the class or the town idiot and not know anything. Please, please, please go over the information. Plus, you also need to know it. You know, if you if you want to be a responsible motorcycle owner and driver, you do want to know this information. So uh, I finish that thing online. I go to my Harley Davidson class. Usually they're about like two or three days long, depending on where you're going. Um, and then they hand you your certificate. Once you pass, you basically take the uh, written and the driving portion in your class. So. Um, I mean, it's all in a controlled environment and you just take your little certificate, certification, blah, 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 blah. you take your little certificate of completion and boom, you're done. So uh, if you are looking to start to ride a motorcycle and you're interested in that, I would definitely recommend it. I mean, this is coming from a female point of view, but honestly, it's not just for males, it's for females. 
if you want to ride then go out you know step outside your comfort zone like i said uh for me i uh, was very shocked whenever i saw the true weight of a motorcycle and i was like okay maybe not right riding is not for me but if you like it stick with it goodness gracious um and it will definitely be something worth it and you know if if you're too afraid or you are responsible enough to say hey i cannot handle this i can't do this safely and or adequately then kudos to you for admitting that um, at the end of the day, riding a motorcycle is about being safe, you know, keeping your rubber side down, which is keeping your wheels on the road and not your head on the road. And for the most part, um, taking that class beforehand, learning a controlled environment is going to be, be very beneficial for you. All right, guys. So if you need any more information, uh, go ahead and feel free to drop a comment in my comment section. Uh, if you want any more information about Harley Davidson Riding Academy, like I said, I uh, took their course. So I have a firsthand experience video um, in my videos as well. Look for that. Um, and if you have any other questions, like I said, drop me a comment. I'll definitely try to answer it as best that I can. For now, thank you for joining me on this ride. I really appreciate it. If you like the content, please give me the thumbs up. If you want more content, subscribe and hit the little bell icon. It will tell you when I launch my next videos in real time. All right, but thanks again for the support. I hope you have a fantabulous day and a good rest of the week. Peace.